Um, Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one. Twenty-one years. Thank you. I'm too far away, aren't I? <laughs> you clever kitty. You clever kitty. It's great having his purr right up next to my ear. <laughs> I can hear him purring. You're such a good kitty. Mm. He smells of the bale of hay that he's been sleeping on all night. You gonna get down? Anyway, there we go. Sheep, first thing in the morning, being fed. So I've collected the windfall apples and horse chestnuts for the invalided sheep that are being minded. No, you're not allowed to eat them. And I'm hearing mega chatter over here. I don't know if you can hear it, but those are missile thrush and they've been fighting over the holly berries. them up in that silver birch or there was maybe they've flown away now but they were all this is the holly tree up oh, no that's a corvid um yeah whole load of them fighting over the uh oh there they are you can see them flying in there missile thrush fighting over the holly berries They're kind of raspy, um, clickety click, kind of fighting talk between, amongst themselves. Who got the best holly berry? Anyway, sun is coming up and I want to give the uh, crystal and kestrel their lovely treats with their breakfast this morning of some windfall golden delicious and some horse chestnuts so they're having a lovely time they have their rolled barley sugar beet apples horse chestnuts and this is the alfalfa stuff and they're on steroids and antibiotics to clear up their allergic reactions and sun sensitivity so I've got a feast, a feast. Somebody's making use of my kneeling cushion. I am about to rejuvenate this bed here. It's got this beautiful rose, which I took as a cutting. And I think it's a Dublin Bay, I'm not sure. And, oh, petals are coming off. Um. It has this huge hellebore, which is a descendant of ones that my grandfather got in the mountains of Serbia or um, Yugoslavia, as it was then known. This is my cutting bed. Lots of baby um, butterfly weeds of various kinds. 
So I'm that I'm going to be planting those out in different plantations for butterflies. So I think I have three different kinds here. There's this kind of yellowy one. The flowers are all over now. There's a deep purpley one and then there's a pinkier one. But all of those are going to be cut back and dug out and transplanted. But this section right here, I want to rejuvenate around this Dublin Bay rose. I think it's Dublin Bay. I think, I think, I think. And um, the irises are fantastic, but I want to put some stuff in there and liven this up here a little bit and in the front of the bed here. I was using it for as a baby bed for baby plants, but now I want, like, I don't want this sow thistle here. I've got the sow thistle in other places on the farm. I don't need it here. And this wisteria I transplanted, it used to be inside the vine house on the other side of the wall when there was no roof. So now um, it was transplanted here and it's taken a few years and it's finally taken off, you can see. And it's sending out these long tendrils. And I wanna take this long tendril and put it up on the wall. And down the road, this will become a lovely scented area. I have a bench here. I just let this grow because I just love mullen. Anyway, this is a second Dublin Bay rose. And then this is loads of sweet William. And this is another wonderful smelling iris. And I want to plant something in there in that corner. You can see I have lavender going in and around the bench. This is all kind of done on pennies because a lot of these are from seeds, cuttings, transplantings, things like that. I think the only thing in here that I've bought was this from Rare Plants and it does this amazing lobster flower. Everything else are gifts or cuttings or self-sown or inherited. Okay, that Wisteria was bought 15 years ago as a slip of a thing to decorate the then overgrown vine house. These are all from cuttings from a friend, the irises in here, everything. These are all cuttings. So most of this bed uh, it has been m made on my own um, gardening propagation abilities. And so I'm going to lift, give it another lift. I love this. Somebody gave me a tiny bit of this and I didn't think it would survive. And it's lovely covering across the bed, but I want to get that middle layer and at the moment, as you can see, this time of year, the only things that are doing are the lavender and the Dublin Bay. So I want more down underneath. So they'll be pretty as well as smelly. Put it that way. Isn't that right? Look at the bees are all loving this. And you are too, aren't you? Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, I will do a before. This is the before. You can see I started digging the bed over there. And then I'll do an after. So you can see the difference. And all my assistances. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just about ready for the planting. Bed's all dug over. All dug over. And ready to start planting some of the new plants that I want to introduce into the equation. So leaving the lavender and the irises and that wonderful purple clover, which I'm hoping will continue to spread more irises. That's a kind of ground cover and I can't remember what it's called, but bees love it in the spring right there. And this Dublin Bay rose and my grandfather's hellebore and that wisteria which I've slightly gotten in the right direction. I need to get a ladder because I need to get it over that nail there and attach that horseshoe over there. So getting there, nearly there now. Now to do the planting, but I think I'm going to have lunch first. This bumblebee loves these penstemons. Look at that. Anyway. Here's what I've planted up. Look at that. Isn't that such a beautiful, soft, antique kind of mauve with the pink penstemon underneath this Dublin Bay. 
There's a um, salvia over there. Pink is watching the bumblebee. <laughs> Look at that. Loves the penstemon. Then this is a kind of a pink baby breath, which is really beautiful. Uh, can't remember what that's called. This is a bee balm. I can't remember what that's called, but it has a beautiful blue. That's another gift. That was a gift. That was a gift. A whole bunch of them were gifts. So there we go. Now I need to, there's a few more things. I've got to plant these. This is a salvage from a friend's garden. They have red flowers kind of in August. So I have to plant those in there. And we've taken out all the um, buddleias. There was three different kinds of buddleias that I'd grown here by um, stabbing them into the ground, propagated. This dogwood, I've got to, um, I have to send this off. I have to dig this up and send it to somewhere else. And by the way, while I'm talking to I you- I had this incident. <laughs> Didn't I? You got up on my shoulder while I was leaning over, looking at flowers and the bumblebee <laughs> in the new bed. Let's see. There's the new bed. Anyway, bits and pieces, bits and pieces, always bits and pieces in the garden. Doing, doing, doing. Whether they take or not, we await to see. There are a few things that I've got to change in another bed that I did earlier this year because some of the plants are going like, meh, don't like it. So I'll have to change that round, put them somewhere else. I'm really not sure how good that is for drying the laundry. Guys, you're going to tip my laundry over. No. Come on. <laughs> if you want to be up next to the Aga, there you are. You can play now. They were being bold and they're your children.